Welcome to Percent Composition. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to represent the amount of each element in a substance. Percent Composition. We can determine how much of each element is present, by mass, for any amount of any compound. So for example, let's look at water, H2O. Water has a mass of 18 grams per mole. But we can further examine that and look at the individual components hydrogen and oxygen. We know that hydrogen's mass is one gram per mole and that oxygen's mass is 16 grams per mole. We can also see that there are two hydrogens and one oxygen. Now in this case for percent composition I'm interested in knowing what percentage of the water is hydrogen and what percentage by mass of the water is oxygen. So for the hydrogen I have two out of 18. Okay, because 1 times 2 gives me 2. That's the portion that's hydrogen. And the total is 18. So I have 2 out of 18 times 100 to convert that to a percentage. And then for oxygen, 16 times 1 is 16. So the portion of water that is oxygen weighs 16 grams out of a total of 18 grams. And again, multiply by 100 to make that into a percentage. That gives me 11% for hydrogen and 89% for oxygen. What do these numbers tell us? They tell us that for any sample of water, whether it be an ice cube or a water droplet or a cup of water, 11% of the mass will be hydrogen and 89% of the mass will be oxygen. That is the percent composition of water. More generally, the percent mass of a given element in a compound is equal to the mass of that element in the compound divided by the total mass of the compound. And then this fraction put together is multiplied by 100 to convert it into a percentage. Remember that the idea of a percentage in general simply represents a fraction or the part of a whole. Okay, so we have the mass of an element, that's the part, and the total mass of the compound, that's the whole. So a percentage basically shows this ratio, a part to a whole. So we can also work out the percent composition of a substance with experimental data, such as this. In this example, a sample of a compound is made up of 13 grams of nitrogen and 37 grams of oxygen. What is the percent composition of the substance? So I'm going to be looking for the percentage of the substance that is nitrogen and the percentage of the substance that is oxygen. And remember the idea that this whole thing is basically the part out of the whole. So let's look at nitrogen first. Well I know the mass that's nitrogen because it tells me right here. Of this substance, 13 grams of it is nitrogen. But I need to know what the whole thing is. Now this substance is made up of 13 grams of nitrogen, so 13 grams nitrogen, and 37 grams of oxygen. If I combine these two, that's going to give me 50 grams of the total substance. That's the total mass of the substance. So, when I do part out of the whole, for nitrogen, 13 is the part, and it's out of a total of 50 grams times 100. For oxygen, I can set it up the same way, except the part that's oxygen is 37 grams of oxygen, so I have 37 grams, out of, again, the total is still the same, 50 grams is the total for this substance, and I multiply this by 100 as well to convert it to a percentage. So these show the numerical setup for the percent composition of each element in the substance. From this point, it would be a simple task to put these numbers into a calculator and come up with a final value. That wraps up our lesson on percent composition. Any questions you have from this lesson, write it down in your notes and bring it with you to class.